This is an overall conclusion for my magazine poster and trailer on how the process went on gathering feedback. At first, I was a bit hesitant to, for the platforms, social media platforms that I was going to choose to collect feedback from because I know that they're not all reliant in a way. I was positive about Snapchat that I was going to be gathering a lot of feedback from but for Facebook Messenger, I wasn't sure because there's not a lot of our target audience on there. There's more of an older range. So I was a bit hesitant, but I still went for it. And I did gather feedback, which I'm really happy with. Um, I gathered the most feedback from Snapchat. And I think it's pretty obvious why, as our audiences are mostly on there and that's that is why I gathered and you could see why I gathered the most feedback evidence from there which was really good because I gathered it really quickly there was no challenges but I would say there was a challenge for Facebook Messenger because I didn't gather so much responses for it um, overall our feedback was pretty positive if not 99.5% positive um, the most problems people um, told us that we should have improved was a tagline for our poster and at first I was thinking how were we meant to improve that but looking into their feedback it made so much sense what they said and I do agree with them and I do know that we have to put the audience's um, opinions before ours as we are making our poster for them so it is important that they like our poster magazine and trailer and they give us feedback and we learn from their feedback they said that we should have made it um, the font for the tagline bigger and a different color um, I do agree that we should have made the font bigger but at that moment we all agreed that it looked pretty much well but it wasn't a large percentage of people who said that it was like five percent out of 100 which was still really good because that 95% of our audience liked our tagline and they said they could see it so we had to look from two different perspectives but overall I've learned from our audience's feedback that we can make a product that's excellent because at first I thought that we can't impress all of our audiences because everyone has different opinions, everyone has different sides to what they like, what they don't like, but we actually impressed our audience and that's something that I never knew we could have done even though I knew our trailer, magazine and poster were really good. I didn't know they'll be so good that half our audience, if not all of them, would love it and it just shows that hard work paid off with the hours that we spent um, creating the poster, the trailer, the magazine, Putting hard work, um, the group meetings, they've all been worth it. Um, gathering the feedback, as I said, was a bit a bit challenging for the Facebook Messenger. It's not challenging, but it was a lot of patience that I had to have. But the rest were pretty, really good. And I managed to gather a large sample of responses back. So I didn't only have like five people telling me my questionnaire, t giving me feedback on my questionnaire, which is, which is really low. I had like 10 people, if not more, for each um, um, social media that I used. I also used a camera. Um, that was a bit of a challenge because not everyone wanted to record themselves. And I think it would be, it would have been better if I had more recordings because people say more when they're recording and when they have to speak verbally instead of writing and I think that that would have been way better and it would have been a challenge to analyse a bit more because I have to listen to every single thing they say instead of them just putting one answer but it's way better and more convenient but on the other hand I did get responses on camera from the people who did want to um, record themselves I didn't want to make the sample biased in a way by asking my friends so I did ask other people who are not my friends if that makes sense because they may give biased um, responses because they think that um, they just want to be a good friend so I did avoid that and talk to other people that I don't talk to on a daily basis and that's how I know our sample well our feedback is valid 
Um, overall, I loved the process of gathering feedback back. I thought it was really interesting. I learned a lot from it, from our audience, which I never thought I would learn. Um, many of the responses um, surprised me. When I gathered a graph, when I did a graph for each one, I learned more and more about it and it made me so happy and relieved when we had 100% of responses for positive feedback. And we only had like 5% for negative, so that's it works either way. And I'm really impressed with our group and I love how we work together to create a brilliant piece.